Hey, it's me again. So today I'm going to explain string methods in JavaScript. String methods allow you to manipulate and work with text, also known as strings. In this example, I have a username. Username equals a string of text. Why don't you go ahead and create a username variable and set it equal to either your username, if you have one, or your full name. Strings have different built-in methods where we can manipulate this text one way or another. Here's a few examples. Suppose I would like to get the first character of the string. I can use the char at method. Type a string or a variable containing a string, then follow this with dot. By adding a dot, we are accessing any properties or methods that the string has. Follow this with char at, then list an index. The first character is zero. The second character would be one. So get the character at index zero. That should be a B. However, if I were to run this, let's go to our dev tools. Uh, nothing appears to happen because it's going to return a single character. Let's place that within console.log just so that we can see it. Cut this code and paste it within console.log. So the first character in my string is B. But depending on what you wrote, it might be different for you. The character at index 1 would be R. Then 2 is O. So that is the char at method. The index of method will return the index of the first occurrence of a character. Let's find the first occurrence of an O. It will return an index. And then again, I have to console.log whatever is returned. So let's place this method within console.log. What is the index of the first occurrence of an O? That would be 2. 0, 1, 2. Otherwise, for the last index, let's change the method to be last index of, which would be 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the length property, this isn't a method. To get the length of a string, type the string or a variable containing the string dot length. This isn't a method, but it's very similar. So the length of my username is seven characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how to get the length of a string. Now we are going to trim the string. Maybe there's a bunch of white spaces after or before. I will reassign username equal to, let's take our username variable, dot, and use the trim method to trim any white space. Then I will console.log my username. There's my name and there's no white space after. Let's add some white space before our name. Yep, and there's no white space. To make my name all uppercase, I can use the to uppercase method. Now my string is all uppercase. Then there's two lowercase to make all of the characters lowercase. There's repeat to repeat a string. Within the parentheses of the method, how many times do you want to repeat the string? If I were to type three, we'll repeat the string three times. To determine if a string starts with a given character, we can use the starts with method. This will return a boolean. I will store that within a result variable. Username dot starts with method. We will check to see if the string starts with an empty space. Then let's console.log the result. That is false. My username does not begin with a space. But what if it did? I'll add one. Then that returns true. This could be useful within an if statement. If result, if the string starts with a white space, let's console.log your username can't begin with an empty space. Else, let's console.log the username. My username has a white space in the beginning. Your username can't begin with white space. If that were false, then we will display my username. So that is the starts with method. 
There's also ends with. Does my username end with a white space? It does not. But what if it did? Your username can't end with an empty space. Next is the includes method. Does the string contain an empty space? I'll split my username into two. Your first and last name would work as well. Your username can't include an empty space. Currently it does. Your username can't include an empty space. If it didn't, then we pass the test. We will display the username. All right, now this time we will create a phone number. Let phone number equals, make up some phone number, including dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So this phone number is a string, even though it contains numbers, because strings can contain numbers, but we treat them as characters. Let's eliminate all the dashes in our phone number. Here's one way in which we can do that. Let's reassign our phone number equals our phone number. We will use the replace all method. Which character are we replacing? Let's replace any dashes, comma, then the character to replace the dashes with, or whatever you put for the first character. We will replace all dashes with no characters. Then let's console.log our phone number. And that should eliminate all of the dashes. Or otherwise, you could replace it with a different character. Let's do a forward slash. So 123 slash 456 slash 7890. There's also the pad start method dot pad start. The first value within the pad start method is a specified length. How many characters should the string be? I would like the string to be 15 characters long. Then for the second value, make sure to comma separate it. We can pad the start of the string with a given character. Let's say zero. So the result is a couple zeros, then our phone number. Pad this string with zeros until it's 15 characters long. If I were to set this to 20, then we would have more zeros. There's more padding. Then there's pad end. Pad the end of the string with this character until the string is 15 characters long. All right, everybody, so those are string methods. They allow you to manipulate and work with text also known as strings. We'll have more practice with these in the future. And well, those are a few useful string methods in JavaScript.